Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and what surprises me the most about the Steve Universe time skip is the duration of the time jump. Weighing in at two years. Two years is a long time for Steven to not only grow as a person physically, but gain better control of his powers. Getting closer and closer to becoming everybody's favorite main in Smash Bros. The events of Change Your Mind prove that Steven is far more powerful than we initially imagined with the emergence of Pink Steven. Considering Pink Steven was all of his power, removed from personality, restraint, and sense of self, it's reasonable to assume that Steven naturally could evolve into this unstoppable force. Someone who has a strong enough grip to unleash such power at any time they need to. Of course, Steven is a pacifist, so that need would be few and far between. Now, time skips are a common storytelling device in almost every popular action-heavy anime. And as a result, especially in Shonen, protagonists tend to return from the time skip with a slew of new abilities and powers. And for a show like Steven Universe that is not only paying homage to anime, but are always finding new ways to be innovative with Steven's abilities, I think we can draw a similar conclusion and begin to speculate on just what Steven's new powers could be. Now, Steven and Connie already train. I don't think an era of peace would cease those sessions, as they clearly seem to really enjoy it. In the spare moments in the series, we do see them train. Not to mention, a lack of danger does not correlate to one neglecting their body. Thus, they still may desire to stay physically in shape and get that daily physical activity through training exercises. They could always be prepared for a rainy day. And by rainy day, I mean another apocalyptic invasion. Not to mention with the uncrypted gems, many of them may want a good sparring session. After all, some kind of gem are created with an innate need to battle. It doesn't mean they have to go to war, I mean, boxing's a sport and a hobby, and not to mention with Bismuth around, everyone's gonna test their skill and throw hands with her. It's how Bismuth shows affection. Steven can master the abilities Rose Quartz aka Pink Diamond displayed that he didn't as a child, such as Gemstone creation and her more proficient Phytokinesis. While Steven can create living pumpkins and watermelons, Rose has straight up living plants, moss, and vines. Things that were alive and kicking 14 years after she ceased to exist. While an entire civilization of watermelons is nothing to sneeze at, it would be great if Steven got in touch with this side of himself. Steven is already all about the earth, but imagine him in combat using the earth. Being the wholesome poison ivy by making plants do his bidding, but he gives him a nice pep talk and watering afterwards. Steven's pre-existing abilities can level up. Imagine if he had better control over entering the mindscape. His empathic telepathy. Being able to pinpoint anyone in distress from anywhere. Being able to just pop into their mind, seeing how they're doing. And although I can't really see Steven using this of malicious intent, it would also be a very resourceful tool for spying. There's also Steven's possession abilities. Imagine if Steven learned to possess two people at the same time. Or even take control of someone's body without leaving his own. Again, I don't think Steven would have sinister motives with these abilities. And they could still utilize them in very creative, peaceful ways. For example, if an alien scoops up a townie, or there's some sort of invasion, Steven could ideally get someone out of trouble by controlling their body and maneuvering said body to escape. And then if he didn't give a heads up and get their consent, he would profusely apologize for it after. There's also everything with Steven's bubble. The bubbles have had so many creative appearances over the years that I definitely believe they're gonna do something crazy with them next. We already saw a few uses of a bubble in the episode Bubbled, such as being able to launch and expand a bubble, a safe way to catch someone in peril. We saw in episodes such as Steven vs. Amethyst, Bismuth, and Reunited that Steven's bubble is able to add spikes to it, and in Nightmare Hospital, Steven was able to offensively drop his bubble, which kind of created a recoil for the cluster experiments surrounding them. So just imagine what Steven can do with this ability with two years of practice under his belt. I would wouldn't be surprised if Steven was able to form his own giant kaiju out of a bubble. That'd be something. Something I would also be very interested to see is the progression of Steven's shape-shifting abilities. Being half gem, half human, Steven's shape-shifting greatly differs from the gems. As we saw with his cat fingers, completely independent feline, whose thoughts and feelings were beyond Steven's control. Steven's shape-shifting has yet to push its limits. Technically, his appearance after the time skip is an example of a shape-shifting, that is the ability pushing itself to new heights. But come on, I'm trying to see Steven turn into something completely new, if he can manage it. And after finding closure of his own identity and change your mind, after embarking on that entire journey with the diamonds, it's possible that Steven could discover some abilities that was thought to be exclusive to other diamonds. For example, 
Blue Diamond's pathokinesis, using her aura to engulf surrounding gems in her sorrow. Imagine if Steven had a grip on a more positive pathokinesis, using his aura to spread love and positivity. After all, Yellow Diamond and White Diamond have similar auras, and as a result, both diamonds are able to haunt similar energy projectiles, just with different effects. From what we saw Pink Diamond's aura in Reunited, it seems to be identical to Blue Diamond's. So if Yellow and White can share an ability with different effects, why can't Pink and Blue? Especially as it seems as if Blue was the closest to Pink. I do think it's important for Steven to be in touch with that Diamond side. And speaking of which, last year after we learned Rose Quartz was Pink Diamond, I speculated on the prospect of Steven having his own Diamond transformation, a state with Pink Diamond eyes and Pink hair. And while I won't name any names, won't link any sources, someone related to the crew of the show did briefly release an image of their own sketch of Steven with diamond eyes and seemingly pink hair. Although it was swiftly deleted, I believe it wasn't the only post deleted by the artist, and it was during a moment where all the crew members were tweeting all their next Steven noodles. So while it could be a clue that Steven may actually have his own diamond transformation, it could also just simply be what it is at face value. A drawing, a concept, something fun, nothing more. But is Steven Universe really a homage to anime if he doesn't have his own transformation? I'm just saying, KO has TKO and PKO, making Steven look pretty rusty. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What new powers do you believe Steven could develop during this time skip? Do you want to see him possess his own diamond transformation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, Thoughts, you can find me at Austric Thoughts. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link in the description. Help learn to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Thoughts, signing out.